Get full access to over 20,000 episodes with your free trial. My Outdoor TV. Sign up today. One of the saddest things recently in African hunting that has happened is the closure of elephant hunting in Botswana. But just because elephant hunting is closed doesn't mean we need to forget the memories of the great hunts that we had there. On this week's show, we're going to go back in time a little bit with Dan and John Foster, a father and son team who are really going to be enjoying some of the last days of elephant hunting in Botswana, walking amongst these giants, enjoying the Okavango Delta for what it truly is, and, and just really reveling in the beauty of this magnificent land. This is about to get interesting. Congratulations, Mike, some fantastic so shooting. I'm slowly buying this thing right here. And... Dallas Safari Club's Tracks Across Africa is presented by DSC, the Dallas Safari Club. Hornady, accurate, deadly, Dependable, Redox.com, Ruger, The Wildlife Gallery, Global Rescue, DNL Custom House Broker, Sam Shooting School, because you only get one first shot, and by Trigicon, Brilliant Aiming Solutions. Well, we've just got into the Okavango Delta and everybody's flying in in a chopper. And I will say, it's one of the most scenic things you can possibly do on the continent of Africa, flying over the Okavango Delta. Not just known for its wide variety of wildlife, but known as possibly Africa's very best elephant hunting destination. We've got three tags, we've got a lot of time, and we've got some fantastic fit athletic hunters. So I can't wait for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> wanted to take this trip. Um, yeah, I was in Tanzania, tried to get an elephant last year, didn't end up seeing any, and uh, was just so fortunate uh, this year that Trijicon offered both myself and my son an opportunity to come out and hunt Botswana. The last, last couple months of the last season maybe ever in Botswana. What a privilege, what an honor, and uh, just so thankful to be here. First afternoon out here we've seen four bulls but we've just heard some branches actually shaking in the bush here so we're just going to take a little walk in here hopefully it's a big tusker first afternoon we get out here Ivan takes us out and we see elephants almost right away and we don't just watch them from the truck he takes us right up to them I mean we're talking within yards maybe 10 yards
if that was a bull, we were going to shoot. We've got plenty of time. You don't have to rush. Because as we walk up there, even if he's up and he's about to turn, rather just let him turn. And then as he turns, just hit him in the ear hole than taking a shot that you're not sure of. Or if you're happy with the shot placement, then just take the shot. But I'm never going to rush you. And I'd rather that a big bull ran away than you rushed and shot him where you didn't want. Because we're going to see lots of other bulls, you know.